Hello everyone. I uh, promised a, a video running a motor here wirelessly uh, from the Tesla coil so that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, before I go over to that I want to go back one step and uh, uh, show you something with regard to uh, this receiver and how it's lighting the bulbs up and stuff. So you saw the, the first video that I posted about the Tesla and uh, at the beginning I started off with a, a filament bulb, 12 volt bulb, it's this one actually lighting uh, from a, a standard way you would, uh, would do that. Uh, if you remember I used the um, tuning capacitor thing here and had the light working but here's another way to do it. I'm sure that everybody's done this before because it's just too simple for it not to be but let me show you it and see what you think this is the way it was set up on the first video where this piece here is that aluminum part and the bulb you can see then is runs to the bottom of the coil as you move back and forth the bulb gets tuned to the right place but now on this one it's different on this one I've got the bottom of the coil going right to ground and then uh, I tune with uh, about seven turns of wire around the uh, receiver coil and then the bulb is here instead of the other way around and this works better I think and um, there's a couple different things so the the first video showed lighting a neon from the heat sink that's where the energy was but with this setup the energy is on the wire here and the the top load so sort of a reverse of rolls but anyhow take a look at this here's the Slayer circuit running and I have the same identical 12 volt bulb in there hooked right up to the power rail so that's running you know normal I would say I'm at about 13 volts and it looks like that but look how bright this one is over here it's much brighter so you know that's a positive thing so you can see I added a nice little top load to this and here's the uh, coil that I'm talking about and that goes right directly to the bulb and then here's the bottom of the coil and that's going to ground and that's the way it works you just move this up and down to tune and isn't that just well okay but there, here's something I found out uh, yesterday or was it early this morning I don't know but I'm gonna take this bulb out and I'm gonna put a neon in there hold on okay so I've put a neon in there heck yeah I mean there's voltage there enough to light the neon so we're probably I think we could safely say there's probably 90 volts there at least but let's try one more thing hold on one second <laughs> okay so it lights both of them at the same time well now that seems really strange to me because um, the bulb is 30 ohms so that should be almost a short right across the neon and I wouldn't I wouldn't expect it to come on but sure enough they're both on and I don't know if you use some Ohm's law it doesn't seem like that can work out without blowing out the uh, filament on the bulb I thought you'd find that interesting I'd, I'd sure uh, appreciate a comment on that from somebody who knows what they're doing okay so we're gonna hook this motor up now and see how that looks I think you'll probably enjoy that I've got a drawing of the circuit we can look at it and hold on bulb is gone and I've taken the bottom of the receiver coil and I have it plugged into the bottom of this AV plug or Rosmenko plug or whatever you call it here's all the six diodes you can see and the only other connection is the ground so let's uh, plug it in I'm gonna plug it in here And before I do, I'm going to go over to the motor. And 
there she goes. <laughs> you like that self-starting stuff, huh? Takes a little bit for it to spin up. I think you can hear it running though. Me. Pull this microphone off a minute. Okay, you should be able to hear it running now. When I checked this before, it was running at about 1800 RPMs. Oh, you heard it running, and uh, I don't know if you heard me talking, so I'm just saying again that when I checked it, it was about uh, 1800 uh, RPMs. So I'm going to put the mic back. And uh, it's not it's not terribly wimpy at all. It's uh, going pretty good. I like the fact that it self starts. You can see I just barely give this any kind of move, and it see that it is just about self starting. See how she, see how it goes. What else can we do with it though? Hold on a minute. I've got a uh, thousand mic capacitor here. It's just a little bitty one, and I'll stick it in here. Slow down briefly, and then uh, speeding up again. So let's look at that. I think you can see it. Oh, that <laughs> even scared me. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can see uh, that it might be a device that uh, could work with a, a cap dump circuit. And that's what I'm showing over here. Transmitter coil, coils, the receiver, and here's the uh, uh, AV plug. And of course, that looks something like this when you make it if you decide to make it that way and of course then that goes over to circuit this circuit is the circuit I used on uh, the one coil uh, uh, motor circuit and uh, you can see the window mo motor coils I've got actually the two trigger coils hooked up to the circuit and I've got the um, power coil hooked up to the diode over here that's indicator diode just about see it probably but that's about it so you can see that motor runs and I'll hook up another one we'll take a look at it yet just a second <laughs> wow Look at this guy going. I don't think you can hear that, but I'm afraid it's going to throw a magnet. This time, see the neons lighting up? trying to govern this myself over here. Uh, wow, those neons are bright. They may, must be able to do something. I'm going to sit the camera down here again. I'll try to charge this up again. Ooh, worried about that. All right, here we go. Wow, that barely slowed down. That should be good. Ooh. Cool. Get another one.
<laughs> now I think you can hear that. I don't know what's vibrating, but... Oh, I know what's vibrating. The end, little bit of end play where the points come in contact with the uh, mirrors. But that, <laughs> that guy is really moving. Okay, so you know that about does it, guys. I'll uh, I'll come up with something yet for another one. I've got a few ideas, and uh, thanks for watching. If you've got any ideas on what was going on with the uh, neon and the filament bulb, let me know. Be nice to have a talk with you. So uh, take it easy for now, and you know I'll be back as soon as I can with something else. Take care.